so right now I'm looking at the front door. Um, so if you were to walk straight in, this is the first thing that you would see. So um, I have decided that this is going to be a no shoes apartment. So I have this um, shoe rack from Ikea. It was really easy to build. So I just have my shoes and a pair of Vans. So when you look straight forward, this is the kitchen. But you can also see into the living space. But I have this um, Ikea wall shelf that I use to sort of divide the space so that you can't immediately see my bed on it. Um, I just have, you know, pictures, candles, um, cards, books, that kind of thing. So walking into the kitchen, um, pretty standard, pretty simple. Um, a gas stove, full-size fridge. Um, I've turned this into like a little bar area um, with a cute funny car that my friend got me. Um, it also has a dishwasher, but I don't really use dishwasher, so it's just there. Um, the kitchen looks out onto the bedroom and living room area, which I'll get into in a second. Um, and this is where I put my keys. Again, front door. So if you go this way, you're looking into this hallway, and that's my bathroom mirror. But before we go to the bathroom member, mirror, you can see my closet here. It's a walk-in closet, and it's actually pretty large, but it looks small because of how much stuff I've packed into here. So let me just back up a little bit so you can see. Lots of storage, but I have a lot of stuff. Um, I don't have a dresser, so I bought these two bins from Target. Um, and then I also have more bins here. I have two suitcases. I have a TV box. And I also have more shoe storage on the back. And yeah, it's pretty large. Okay. So let's turn off the light in here because I am paying utilities. Okay. Um, this is just the mechanical closet right here. Not very important. This is my bathroom. So here I am again in sweats. Hey, girl. Or man. Or boy. Um, so yeah. So here I just have, you know, stuff, makeup, cleaning supplies. Um, a really nice size mirror. Beautiful bright lights. Toilet. This is actually a glass shower door, but I wanted to use my shower curtain, so I just put attention using that. I just put up a tension rod, or should I say my friend, who put up a tension rod for me because I'm 5'2", but I definitely can't use that high. So yeah, this is just the bathroom. A little bit of cute decor. Two mirrors so you can see yourself from all the angles. Um, this right here is the laundry room, I guess you could say. So, the full-size um, washer and dryer. What is this on here? Oh, that is dust. I just did laundry. That's lint. Sorry. I promise I'm not dirty. Uh, full-size washer and dryer. Um, yeah, so that's it. And so the last part of the space that you can see, that's the thermometer, um, is the living and bedroom area. So, to divide the space, because I really wanted the space to feel divided even though it all is in one room i did a couple of things um, the first thing is the decision to have the back of the couch um turned the, the couch turned away from the bedroom um so this in itself is acting as a divider you can also use rugs as a divider so this sort of acts as like a borderline in addition this mirror also acts as like a sort of transitional type thing so let's go into the bedroom so this is my bedroom let me back up a little bit and again I told you I use this shelf to sort of act as a makeshift wall so that you don't you can't immediately see my bed as soon as you walk in um, I really love the way it turned out not only is it good for storage but it looks cute I also have a this cart that is acting as a nightstand I have beautiful string lights um, some like minimalist art that's from Etsy um, my bed spreads from Target, the bed is from Amazon. I'll try and link what I can find in the description box. Um, this is a hamper from World Market that's just holding my laptop, a book bag. Um, yeah, and then some, so this is my, some art that my friend, she's an artist, I will link her Instagram and Society6 shop um, in the description box. Again, we see the mirror. And so now we transition to the living room. So this art, what I also learned from Pinterest and YouTube is that art can also act as room dividers. So this art sort of marks the bedroom. We have our transitional mirror and then this art sort of marks the living room. 
So um, over here is my dining room area. Um, table and chairs all from Amazon. The chair just came in a set. The table was separate. Um, coasters are from Ikea, Hobby Lobby, no, AliExpress, Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby, um, Ikea lamp. Um, this little curtain tie thing is from Shein, curtains from Overstock. Then here is the view of like my couch with an armless sofa. It came from a court furniture outlet which sells like used, slightly used furniture that's been used in offices and in showrooms. Um, so I got it for about half price of what it usually is. So I think the sofa retails for like $800 and we got it for over $380. So not bad, a throw blanket from Target. Uh, this gorgeous, gorgeous coffee table also from Amazon. I have a bowl with some crystals in it. Um, the bowl is from Target. The crystals are from a myriad of places. Then I just have um, some blankets. This is from Opal House, the Target brand. Um, this is a Vizio smart TV. I don't use cable. I just have Wi-Fi. So, you know, there's some little decor knickknacks. My, my router, which unfortunately is really ugly and I can't get rid of. Um, this rug is also from Overstock. And so this is basically the whole living space. In addition, I also have a balcony. So if I, I'm going to just open it up. Give me one second, it's kind of high up. So you guys can see. And I do have some new plant babies that I bought yesterday. Um, I don't really wanna open it up because bugs like to fly in, but I hope you can see. This is Hampton. He is a snake plant that has a couple of little succulent friends with him. And then, I don't have any furniture out here yet either. This is, Angelica, she's a hosta, hosta, I'm not sure how you say it. Um, she is gorgeous, foliage. I got them yesterday. And that's just, you know, some succulents that couldn't fit when I repot repotted them, so I put them there. So, um, yeah, this is the patio area. And yeah, you guys, this is the whole apartment. 500 square feet um, in Maryland, right, right, right outside of the DC um, borderline so DMV apartment um, this place I got a special rate this place runs is 1450 a month um, but I, like I said I got a special rate um, yeah that's it hope you enjoyed the tour